name is Rebecca, and I'm an environmental educator with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation Hudson River Estuary Program. And I'm going to read you a book called Bird, Butterfly, and Eel by James Prosak. And this is a story about animals' migrations. It's summer on the farm, and bird, butterfly, and eel are at home. Butterfly is a monarch. She lives in the meadow behind the pond. Eel lives in the dark, cool waters of the pond below the lilies. Bird lives in the barn at the end of the meadow in nests she's made of mud and straw. She loves being safe high up in the rafters, away from the barn cats. Butterfly is laying her eggs on the milkweed plants in the meadow. Soon the eggs hatch and become caterpillars. They eat the milkweed and get strong enough to spin chrysalis and become butterflies. Eel has lived in the pond for many years. She is eating insects and small fish and storing up energy for her long swimming journey ahead. Bird flies over the meadow collecting insects to feed her babies in the barn. As summer turns into fall, birds young have left the nest and are flying over the pond and meadow singing songs for butterfly and eel. Butterfly watches her young caterpillars turn into beautiful butterflies. Eel is full and strong and is ready for her long journey. With the cool winds of autumn, bird, butterfly, and eel sense a change, feel restless, and know this means it's time to leave the farm. Bird gathers her babies and flies southwest over the barn, the meadow, the pond, and follows the coast. Butterfly takes to the southerly winds, heading down over the land and sea. Eel swims downstream and out to the ocean. At one point in their long journey, at the edge of the sea, bird, butterfly, and eel will meet one last time to say goodbye. There, they see other animals on their own long journeys to very different places. Then, all of the creatures, striped bass, false albacore, common tern, Bay anchovy, osprey, fishermen go their separate ways. Bird will go 8,000 miles to the southern tip of Argentina to spend the winter in the golden meadows of Patagonia, which look very similar to the ones she's left on the farm. Butterfly will glide to the mountains of central Mexico, 3,000 miles away, and spend the winter in forests with millions of other butterflies. There are so many butterflies, they blanket the trees. Eel will swim down to the creek, connecting the pond to the sea, from the coast, she'll travel 1,500 miles to the Sargasso Sea, an eddy in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's warm and beautiful where bird, butterfly, and eel go. Back on the farm, the barn and the meadow are covered in snow, and the pond begins to freeze. It is cold, and the animals that live there miss bird, butterfly, and eel. As winter turns into spring on the farm, Bird flies home to her nest in the rafters of the barn where she was born. Butterfly makes a long journey north again as spring turns into summer, her young taking her place in the meadow as the flowers begin to bloom. And the eel's young, small as toothpick and clear as glass swim up the creek to the pond.